If you've had a panic attack, then most likely it was just a one-off. Because to be considered any kind of major issue, then you would have had to have multiple panic attacks. But the problem is that it becomes a vicious circle. As once you've had your first full-on panic attack, then all you do is worry about having another one, which ironically is the one thing that will cause another panic attack. Now from the clients that I've worked with, I know that their biggest fear is losing control. This fear is by far the greatest of all their fears. Because of this fear, people will just avoid everything that might trigger a panic attack. The main issue is that people will amplify a normal response and blow it into something larger, causing the actual panic attack. So in other words, they create their panic attacks. Now normally it starts off with a trigger point which causes an uncomfortable feeling or sensation in the body, which leads to an increase in adrenaline. Now at this point, there's nothing abnormal about the situation. It's what happens next what causes your panic attack. You then misinterpret those feelings and sensations. So instead of just accepting these as normal, you see the situation as critical and dangerous. So you might say things to yourself like, I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm going to have a brain hemorrhage. I'm going to have a stroke. I'm going to die. And what do you think is going to happen when you say these things to yourself? You will create an escalation of the fear and create more physical sensations. And this is a vicious circle that I was talking about. So I want to talk to you about a very simple but powerful breathing technique that I teach all my clients with a 100% success rate to date, no matter how bad the panic attack is. Now this breathing technique will take you out of that state and into a much more neutral state. Okay, let me talk you through this breathing technique. So step one, place your hands on your belly and breathe in through your nose. Make sure it's a nice deep breath. Step two, then push the air out through your mouth until you can't go any further. Imagine it's like a deflating balloon. The critical thing is that your breathing comes from your belly rather than from your upper chest. On the breath out, purse your lips, push the air out until you can't go any further. And again, breathe in through the nose and push it out. And again, breathe in, push it out. And again, breathe in through your nose and push it out. Making sure that your breathing comes from your belly. So if you suffer from panic attacks or you're just worried that you might get your first panic attack, then have this amazing breathing technique up your sleeve. And I can assure you that you will be able to take control of the situation almost immediately and control your state and dissipate the panic attack really fast and really easily.